everybody. Okay, so uh, this is going to be my 12 and 13 week update. Uh, I'm a little breathy. I just ran up the stairs. Um, my kids are at Adventure Care um, because I had to go and get... I bought their Easter baskets a long time ago, but I hadn't bought all of their anything to go in their Easter baskets. And um, we buy farm fresh, free rain, like a free roaming um, farm eggs, so they're brown. And um, so I didn't even have eggs for us to die. So anyway, I was like, ah. <laughs> so I took the kids there, and then I just went and did a bunch of stuff. Um, so I missed last week for obvious reasons, and so uh, I'm not even going to get into that here. Most of you guys know what's going on, but um, I did take my 12-week belly shot. Um, so uh, on Thursday, um, my brother-in-law passed Wednesday, but uh, so Thursday is when my updates usually are filmed, and then I put them up on Friday. Um, so Thursday morning, I did take my belly shot because... Um, it's just important to me to have that, but I didn't get a vlog filmed. I didn't even worry about it. So, <laughs> I will show you guys that 12-week belly, which, um, as I'm showing you here, I don't know what it looks like. I didn't look at the footage. I just took the footage. I haven't taken it off my camera. So, there is that. And then, <laughs> um, today I took my 13-week belly shot footage, and... Um, so I don't know how they compare, like they might look the same, it might be way different, I don't even know. Like I said, I haven't looked at either of the footage. So, I feel like it's about the same. I feel like, um, last week my belly really started to pop out a lot. Um, it went from this just kind of like rounded, kind of almost fat look, <laughs> to more of like an actual bump shape. Um, I seem to be carrying, um, I'm, now it might look different when I see these videos, but, uh, at some point in the last week, I took a picture that I put on Facebook and I was carrying very high, very high, which was very weird. So I'm not sure if um, I was just, maybe my, I'm starting to get a baby bump, but I'm also maybe a little bloated, so it looks like I'm higher. Or maybe it's just because my stomach is um, a little bit fatter than it was with my last two pregnancies. So like, the baby bump's pushing fat up, so I just look higher. Or if I'm just higher, I don't know. Um, definitely is a baby bump though, it doesn't just look like fat, which is good, so, uh, alright, and so anyway, um, symptoms really, honestly, last week I had, the symptoms I wanted to talk about last week, before everything happened, was mainly just that I've been having a lot of round ligament pain, um, a lot of round ligament pain on both sides, um, very, <laughs> like if I would sneeze, it would, Sometimes I was like scared to sneeze because if I'd sneeze it would hurt. It would like pull so much. So I knew my stomach was growing because of that pain. Um, I've continued to not have any more morning sickness, um, which is great, and that's continued into this week. And anything else? Oh, I've got I I I just I get really hungry sometimes. Um, like really hungry, and I'm really. Uh, most of you guys, you know, <laughs> I feel like I feel like we're all friends, and it, it's. It's so funny when people write on my my com write comments sometimes to me saying this might sound weird but I feel like I know you and I feel like we're friends blah 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 and it's not weird at all because I feel the same way with you guys um, not to sound corny but that's how I feel too I think that's why I'm able to talk to the camera because I just talk to you all my my friends you know what I mean I just talk to you guys um, you can ask my friends in real life this is how I talk to them as well so. Um, anyway, so say, be that being said, <laughs> I struggle with, um, my weight and I struggle with, um, I definitely think I have, like, a borderline, like, food addiction problem because it's just really hard for me with, like, food and everything. So, anyway, that is a major concern for me this pregnancy and, um, I have been doing pretty well, uh, have been really good about not gaining weight. At this point with Grayson, I'd already packed on, like, eight pounds and this time I packed on, like one, two pounds, and so, um, that's good, but, uh, anyway, I just, when I get really hungry, I'm like, you know, and so, and, um, so that, that's one thing I've been kind of like, just, you know, <laughs> trying to keep it in check. I try to snack on, um, apples and plums, um, they've been kind of like, and, and, um, and oranges, they've been my go-to fruit. 
I try to snack on that when I'm hungry or drink more to try to curb, like, you know, to try to fill me up, um, so without, you know, eating too much other foods. I will tell you that this week, um, it's funny because since some people grieve, they can't eat, and some people grieve, and maybe they eat more, and at first I couldn't eat, and now I am stuffing my face like you would not believe, and it's like horrible, and, I, and I'm eating horrible food the last few days. I've eaten horrible food. I've had more fast food than I've had in two months, I think, in the last, like, week, and it's gross, and it's like, ugh, I just need to, like, get it together because, like, that's obviously, like, not a good idea. It's not healthy for the baby. It's not healthy for me, and it'll just make me depressed, and so I have to, like, get that under control, but I think, like, I literally have just been stuffing my face, like... I wish I was one of those people that just didn't eat when they were upset, but apparently I'm like, oh, I was going to eat, so that's annoying. So I've been doing that, but I don't, I think that like, that's not really pregnancy related. I think it's grief related, but the fact that I'm pregnant and I get really hungry, it's like fueling it, you know what I mean? And so I'm like, okay, get it together, like, like trying to do that. So the other thing I wanted to talk about is a symptom that I definitely think is related um, to grief. I know it is. So, um, like I said, my brother-in-law passed away on Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon, I started getting these really intense cramps in my very... Okay, I'm sorry, you guys. I have not cried all day. And I think just, like, talking about it, like, just general, just, like, um, I'm trying to just talk about the pregnancy but I have to keep referring to that because it relates to it and it just it's it's just bringing it up so okay so um Wednesday afternoon that's the day he passed I'm using a backdrop to wipe my eyes which is <laughs> hilarious um I started to get these really intense cramps in my very low, ab very low in my abdomen. Um, I wasn't sure if it was the round ligament pains, just in a different way or not. I kind of just dealt with it. Thursday, um, same thing. I kept getting them, and it hurt really bad. Like I would have to go sit down. So I was a little concerned, but I was really distracted. So I just kind of brushed it off. Um, Friday, I felt a little better, and then later on in the day, you know, grief comes in waves. So as, as I would get more, I guess, aware, I was making a DVD for the family. And so I had to watch a lot of photos and use music that was my brother-in-law's favorite. So I was grieving more than doing that. And so my stomach started to hurt again a lot. So I knew that there was a correlation um, Saturday we went um, to uh, out of town to where we were going to lay him to rest. We had a visitation, same thing. I would have stomach pains, really, really bad, really bad. Very low in my abdomen, very low. Kind of like the undercarriage, so to speak, of like my belly. Um, was it Saturday? So we had a visitation. Um, I don't know how everybody does it in... The rest of the country or in other parts of the world but um, here um, it was a big visitation where we went to um, uh, uh, the sanctuary in a funeral home so it's just like a, a church area and um, you stay for a few hours and you're just with your loved ones and um, that's what you do here. So when we were at that, so when we got back from that, we just ate dinner. Um, not all of my family, some of the family went to bed. Um, tons of my family came down um, from Oklahoma and from all over Texas and obviously his family as well. So anyway, we were all in the same hotel, but some of us ate dinner together. And uh, after, I, I, was, I was so hungry because I had not eaten much all day. I was so, so hungry. I felt sick. So I got my food and I was just like eating it and then like I couldn't even eat that much and I felt really full. Um, and that was fine. I was really tired too because we had stayed up till about two in the morning trying to finish that slideshow and then we had to get up really early. 
Um, and so we, when I got back to the room, I actually um, had spotted just a little bit. It was very little, but um, I had. So I was like, okay, I, I just need to like slow down. So uh, Sunday was the funeral and it was the same thing. I realized, because it would go away, that, um, so Sunday I, I was just dealing with that and I was gonna call my midwife and try to go in on Monday to see her. But by Monday, um, I felt perfectly fine. I really think what was happening is that the stress, um, when I'm stressed or anxious, I have to keep looking at my phone, I have to go with the kids in just a minute. Um, I, I'm very, I'm one of those people I get tense, like it tense up. So I think that I was so tense and just didn't even notice and like so, you know, anxious and that it was the, holding my body like that with my round ligament pain that I'd already been having um, and all the growing that I was doing was just causing me to have that pain. Uh, I think that's wh exactly what it was because whenever I was calmer and I wasn't in those like kind of more intense grief moments and things like that, zero pain. Um, this week I haven't had, it's Thursday, I've not really had the pain. I've, I've had moments of, of grief um, that were more intense but, but never as bad as obviously those first few days and I have not had any pain, no more spot, nothing. I didn't even bother calling the midwife. I really felt like it was okay. Um, in my heart, I really felt like it was okay. I am I'm gonna be very excited to go and hear the baby's heartbeat at my next appointment, which is in about two weeks. But I really feel like everything's okay. I think that the pain literally was a physical manifestation of just the, you know, because of the tension and the way I was carrying myself um, as just part of how I was grieving. And so that was kind of, um, weird but I guess very at the same time it makes sense you know what I mean so that was like a pregnancy thing that's obviously something I've never had to ex tackle but there it is but regardless much much better this week the other thing is is I know that I'm very early very early it's too early in theory to feel the baby move but I swear on Sunday I swear I felt uh, this is my third baby, so I've, I know what it feels like, and I swear I felt those tiny little flutter feelings of when you first start to feel the baby move. Um, I did feel the baby's move quite early, in my opinion, with both my children, my other two children. So, um, and it was one of those things where the feeling's so subtle that you're not sure of what you're feeling, but then as the weeks go on and you feel it more and more and they get stronger, you know that that's exactly what you felt. So um, I'm pretty sure on Sunday that I felt the baby move. Um, I just felt these tiny, it's, <laughs> it's this tiny little like fluttery feeling, um, but it's in this very specific spot, very low in my abdomen. Um, and I have felt it uh, a few times since then too. Sometimes if I'm just really calm, it seems to happen every day around three three o'clock and it's almost three o'clock now so I'm like is it gonna happen um, that's when it keeps happening so the first time I felt it was um, actually during the funeral um, I don't know if that is <laughs> sad or if that's a beautiful thing or what but regardless um, I was just sitting there and I was kind of in this in this spot where I just wasn't crying anymore and I wasn't I just was kind of almost zoned out but I was tuned into what everybody was talking about but I was just like everything else was blocked out so I was very still within myself just very still and so um I was just sitting there and I just felt like tiny little movement and I was like and I just sat up straighter and I got I kept myself still and I felt it again and I was like is that the baby? And so, anyway, um, and it happened about three o'clock, maybe a little after. And it's, it, like I said, it's happened um, pretty much every day. And um, it, it's happened a few times, not at three, but it's just every day around that time. And like I said, maybe not, it could just be weird gas bubbles, but this is my third time around. It feels exactly the way I remember the first feelings with my other two children. So even though I'm very, very early and it, it is very, I, I want to say improbable that that's what I'm feeling. It does feel like that. So hopefully it is that because that's very reassuring. Um, so anyway, so that was kind of exciting though, you know? Okay, so I think that is it. I'm going to wrap it up because 
I need to go get the kids. But that is what's happening for weeks 12 and 13. Um, I think you're technically out of the third trimester at like 13 weeks and three days or something. I don't know. Regardless, next week when I update second trimester. So that's going to be some awesomeness. But okay, you guys, so that is it. Thank you for um, sitting through this with me. I know I was probably rambling and whatever. So, all right. I love everybody. Um, TTC people out there, baby dust, as always, as always, always, always. And, um, you know, blessings to everyone. Uh, okay, see you guys next week. Bye.